What is up Lost Ark Gamers? Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Today we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the whole uh, Loa on slash Amazon update. Um, mostly the Amazon side of things because, I mean, Loa on doesn't really... Uh, how you say... Uh, get catered to us, I guess? Um... It's not like Amazon or our version has a say in what we, uh, like, get from Loa on, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, we're a side region, right? We're not the primary region, so they don't focus on our feedback or anything. Um, not to say that Amazon doesn't forward our feedback that they get from surveys to them, but it's pretty clear that they don't take our feedback um, seriously. Smilegate, that is. In any case, I am going to be making a video of my thoughts on this. I was unsure if I was going to make a video on this, but it seems like a lot of you guys in the comments wanted to hear my thoughts on this. Uh, and believe it or not, I'm not as doomer as a lot of people. Um, I do think the game has a lot of issues, but I also think... Well, I guess we'll we'll get into the video and you'll kind of see my opinions. On this. But anyways, uh, on June 24th, Smilegate had their Loa On event, which contained key information for fans of Lost Ark, blah, blah, blah. And exciting upcoming and content and plans we know western players tune in and curious about when the changes will come to west blah 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 in-depth look at july and august uh, if you haven't seen the roadmap you can find the major pieces of content here so the major pieces of content is going to be hell clown in july and then aeromancer and a con in august let me take a sip of water i did just wake up a little bit ago as i'm sure you're all aware i do my best content creation uh, bright and early. But we take a look at July here. Uh, we're going to be getting a lot of QOL stuff. Uh, a lot of QOL stuff that was announced in the Loa On presentation. Uh, we're going to be getting it very, very soon. Uh, in addition to some other things. But the main things is focusing on easier progression uh, for both newer players and alternate characters. This, I think, is a very, 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 very good thing. It's not going to solve the problem of the onboarding for new players, but something needed to be done. And it's good to see that they understand that the new player experience needs help. It needs help badly. Because, like I've always said, if there's no new players coming into a game... That's when your game starts kind of stagnating and then has the potential of quote-unquote dying. Um, everybody will say your game is dying no matter what game you play. Uh, dead game, etc., etc. Reality of it is, uh, game is not dead. Um, obviously, the lifespan of an MMO, you will continually lose players throughout the time until, say, like a giant new expansion or content patch drops. Uh, you can argue that we haven't been getting giant player retention for new content drops, but I would argue that these aren't necessarily new content drops. The last big thing we got was, what, hard mode Brel? And that's literally just normal Brel. Um, I mean, I think the next giant player spike we're going to see is for a con and Aeromancer, uh, obviously, but maybe I'm just huffing on that Copium. I don't know, man. I think it's okay to not be a doomer all the time um i do enjoy the game or i wouldn't make content for it as often as i do and i wouldn't be playing it as much as i do that's really what it comes down to um but you can see here easier progression basic honing uh extended up to 1490 so basically what this means is um the vault and vicus gear you get plus 20 that would be 1490, so it gets you up into Brel normal mode. And basically what they did was they essentially slashed requirements on all of the hone, uh, the honing levels. Your XP requirements increased by 50% for 19 to 20. Honing success rate increased by 3% for level 20 hones, 5% for level 19 hones. Honing material and price required decreased by 40% for 19 to 20. And then gold price honing decreased by 100%. So basically... It's silver all the way up until 1490, and the honing chances in it is increased, and the materials are decreased. So, we've seen this before. Uh, we got it up to 1460 last time, now it's up to 1490. I think this is very, very good. Another thing that I think is very, 
very good and i'm really happy that they did was a legendary wandering merchant will be added to make it easier for player to collect stepping stone cards such as balthor delane armin and jetterico these are very key cards for some very key early game sets such as deep dive um and i cannot remember the name of the other one but you know the other one we know the other one uh, and that's something that i was thinking of when we first initially got these card sets added to our game it required some uh of these legendary cards much like the good sets did and it's like okay these sets are made for newer players but newer players are still going to have a hard time getting the sets because of those legendaries and some of the harder to get purples like jetterico uh this is good i think this change is nothing but positive this way you also can get two LOS cards purely from Wandering Merchants, which is a big W for both new and longtime players. Delane Armin, which is a Lost One Cliff card. Very, very good. Uh, players will no longer need to use Fions to move ability stones and accessories to other characters in the same roster. However, it will still count against the number of trades. I think this is just something that should have been in the game to begin with. But this is very good. Battle items will be roster bound. Uh, this is good should have been like this in the beginning imo but good to see that they finally done it so if you accidentally open a thousand fucking destruction bombs on your alt that you never play you can actually get use out of those motherfuckers uh material to craft relic brochaza gear will be removed instead players will be able to earn phantom intentions the crafting material for brochaza ancient gear from normal difficulty rewards will improve for both normal and hard modes this is good um even as a longtime player it's very, very annoying to gear alts. Um, I can only imagine what it's like for newer players, and it's not their alt character. This is like their main. Uh, this song is going hard, by the way. God damn. Uh, but this is a good change. I think being able to skip essentially a useless tier is good because Relic to Ancient Brelshazzigir doesn't really matter at this point you might as well just go from vault and vicus to ancient relic i mean it makes the most sense to me anyways um arcturus's touch which gives additional clear rewards will be extended to clown and brel normal and hard this is very good i don't know why it wasn't already extended to clown but thank god this basically just gives you double the amount of um materials for i think it is your first five or ten clears Basically, doubles the, the the speed you get your um, 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 um level two set. That's the word I was looking for. Your level two set and your ancient set, so you get it twice as fast because you get double the amount of rewards. Wowie! Uh, Maharaka Festival new event. Um, I think we had this last year, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be the. Oh no, this is the, um, the fucking game where you get to be like the Makoko guy and you run around. This is actually really cool that Korea got this last year. So we are getting the, um, little Makoko mini game. This is actually going to be really cool. Uh, I would recommend checking it out. I think Zeal's made a video on it. I'm sure all the Korean, um, YouTubers, content creators made a uh, video about this last year, but it's a very cool mini game. They had it last year. We're getting it this year. Very, very cool. And then in August um bulk of the changes to improve the new and returning player experience will be added in august with console consolidation of tier one and two easier progression qll changes and more as the august update includes a con legion raid new and re returning players will be able to earn order legion raid materials much faster catch up very good better progression events are added to help new returning players catch up or for current players to quickly level up an area romancer or other class they're interested in adding to their roster so progression event upgraded hyper express so the honing boost for the Hyper Express goes up to 1490 with additional support up to 1540. What does this mean? Well, who knows? But it's a 1490 slash 1540 Hyper Express? Um, we'll see. Consolidated tier one and tier two. Uh basically they are just uh sort of compressing tier one and tier two. Not that anybody really focuses on tier one or tier two at this point anyways this is purely a new player sort of thing as it is um they're removing tier 2 gems again because tier 2 gems are useless they are basically removing all the useless tier 2 crafting uh 
recipes and things. T2 related crafting recipes will be removed. Kaldor spices will no longer be used, etc., etc. Uh, tower stages will also be changed to fit the tier consolidation. Both Shadow Spire and Fate Spire will have 20 floors. Very good. Item level or entry requirements will be adjusted, and the difficulties and rewards will be rebalanced. Uh, new tier 2 item level phase will be. Uh, 500 to 1100 rather than 802 to 1225 which is it makes more sense eliminated negative accessory engravings in t2 very good and one of the engravings on accessories will always be a class engraving this is good engraving updates engraving system will unlock uh, unlock level will be changed to level 50 some engravings can be obtained and used before level 50 and the if the engraving system is already open the engraving can be applied the same way as before even before the update Starting level of all engravings will be level 1 upon unlocking the system. Since all engravings can be used after unlocking the system, uncommon engraving recipes will be removed from the game. In-game compensations rewarding these will be added. E3 progression updates. Uh, the first phase of T3 will be updated to 1250 to 1490. Okay, makes sense. Leapstones used during this phase will be GHL, so no more regular leapstones, I suppose. Uh, green fusion materials will become blue or Reha fusion materials. Actually, no. Simple or Reha fusions are greens. I don't know what common or Reha fusions are. Unless they mean the rarity is common. And it they meant simple. I don't know. This is unclear to me. This reads like they want the green mats to become the blue mats, though, because green mats will become a legacy item. Uh, but anyways, crafting ingredients for each Relic Legion Commander gear set, item level 1340, will be unified. This is cool. It used to be based on what set you were crafting, but now it's always going to be... Uh, you use wings to craft the weapon and gloves, and you always will use the demonic bones, beast bones to craft the head, shoulders, chest, and pants. I think this is a good change. Uh, due to adjustments at T3, the required item level when using certain items will change. Some stronghold research at the phase will be adjusted. Fair enough. Enhanced rewards and earlier raids will be improved. Increased drop rate of accessories with class engravings for relic gear. I think this is very, very, very good. Level 4 and 5 skill tree amulets will be added to the Legion Raid Exchange Merchant. I think this is very good, especially the level 5 skill tree amulets. I think we need more easy access to these. Um, make them like a semi-rare drop from content that we're clearing on a weekly basis. I don't know why they haven't done this. I think it makes perfect sense. Uh, increase the scope of the Makoko buff and Proxion's protection to item level 1490. Okay, this is good. Makes sense. Quality of life. Increase battle item support and guardian raids up to Kungalanium so that you get free battle items up to Kunga. Very good. You can now select your skin, your ship's skin cosmetic and the effect separately, so you can have the effect of, like, Hermata's uh, thingamabob, but have your shit be the turtle. Very cool. Waiting time for event islands will be eliminated. Very cool. Sailing coins and keys will be consolidated. It changed from 5 to 2. Makes sense. Reduce sailing quests and playtime. Gate quests will be removed, and the rewards will be rebalanced as rewards for other content. Maybe I'll get my last sailing map now. <laughs> uh, just kidding. This is good, though. Maharaka Festival Part 2. Uh, more activities will be re rewards will become available at the Maharaka Festival. Perfect, uh, per ugh, fucking hell, Jesus Christ! Perfect for Artesian adventures in any tier of their journey. English is hard, man. Y'all don't respect me. Uh, and then, of course, to celebrate, all the players of Lost Ark in our global community were excited to share the following gift with players. We're going to prepare the gift for delivery and post additional notice when the gift is ready to send. You get your special animal chest. You get your bunny skin chest. You got your beetle chest. Um. I don't really know what the fuck these are. These don't really look like beetles to me. But uh, I'll take your word for it. And I don't know what the fuck those are. Those are horrifying. So are the rabbits too, honestly. But uh, free is free. We're also getting uh, 100 ancient platinum coins. I think those are the 20k silver coins. 10 collective battle item chests. 5 orange card XPs. A legendary special card selection chest that contains Kadan and Theamine. Very good. Uh, Magic Society Special Die Chest times 10. Woo! A level 5 Wishful Tripod Amulet. Very good. And then 5 level 4 Tripod Amulets. Very good. And then 100 free Feons. So, I think overall, 
I've sort of walked through my thoughts as I went through it. I think overall for what it is, I think this is very, very good. Um, I will touch on the things that people have been complaining about, uh, such as the daily quote-unquote homework. Um... I know I have a very different take compared to most people. We were talking about it in my Discord the other day. Discord link down in the description if you ever want to just hang out. Um, it's not the most active, but when we do talk, we have fun. Um, but sort of my opinion on the whole uh, homework thing, especially relating to Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids. If you play your main character, right, and you do your Chaos Dungeons and Guardian Raids, you're only able to play your main character for about 20 minutes a day. 10 minutes for Chaos Dungeons, 10 minutes for Guardians. Then you're done. Um, I want to play my main more, not less, as it is, because I don't think 20 minutes a day is very much time to play your main character. Um, so I don't know how to feel necessarily about the Chaos Dungeon Guardian Raid being reduced to one. I can understand why people want that, and I don't necessarily think the content is particularly engaging or enjoyable, but I enjoy playing my character. Um, I get that people get tired of running the dungeons, but I mean, rest bonus exists. Uh, I suppose they could increase the rest bonus from 66% of the rewards to 100% of the rewards. That's why if you decide to rest bonus your shit, you're not losing any rewards. So people might feel less bad about doing it. But I don't know. It's tough for me to say because ultimately I like having a reason to be able to play my main. And I don't want that time reduced. So, I don't know. If they perhaps added something instead to um, give you more reason to play your main, I'd be totally chill with it. But as it is right now, I mean, if they're just going to reduce that stuff and then add nothing, I I don't know. It's hard. Basically, I just want to play the character that I like, man. And you can already barely play the character that you like. That's my take on it, at least. Anyways... I will stop rambling for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Um, you guys are the best. And without you guys, I wouldn't be making videos. So thank you. Um, truly. Thank you to my YouTube members, of course. My Tier 2 members. You got your boy Blitzel. You got your boy Remix of My Life. You got your boy I'm Nufu. My boy Air is like my boy Peachy. And you got all my Tier 1s. It's Biscuits, Ender, Diz, Clouded, Dangerous, and Joxini. Consider becoming a member. It helps me buy pizza every month anyways thank you guys so much like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the whole shebang i will see you all in the next one bye